<laughs> there are some of my friends. I was experimenting the face mesh with various footages. This is the part 2 of the face mesh tutorial. At this moment, we are supposed to follow the previous video implemented the face mesh and combined with pipa.js. In this part 2, we're gonna make the system to be able to draw a single shape. Also make it toggle between edit mode and view mode. So first, we're gonna make this plotting system. I want to use mouse click to plot the data, so I want the program to know which point I chose. Let me show you one way to do that. Alright, it becomes a little bit complicated, but don't worry, uh, let's take a look. I just made an array and integer here. And right after the draw of every vertex, we calculate the distance between all the points to the mouse and store into the array D mouse. Then we find the minimum value in the array by this mean function and figure out the index of the minimum value by index of function. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, um, native JavaScript function. Then store into the uh, variable closest. And note that uh, at this moment, order of the distance value in this array D mouse is now corresponding to this array, this array, that originally stores all the coordinate of the facial point. So yeah, it should work. At here, uh, I changed the color mode to HSB for convenience. Then draw a large red point on the closest vertex. Lastly, don't forget to erase all the value after draw the point. Uh, this is a JavaScript function, remove uh, the sp specific range of the element. Okay, uh, so let's reload it. Good, it's working. Now let's actually write the code to drawing the shape. First I create another array to store the indices of the vertices consist of the shapes we draw, okay? And right after the face mesh function, I write mouse clicked. This is a p5 function called when the event mouse click happened. When the mouse clicked, uh, store the current closest index to the array we just made. Alright, let's out of the shapes array. Yep, it's working. So finally, let's draw the shape. Okay, this shape array has all the indices of the vertex consist of the shape, but the coordinates of the vertex are here, in this array, detections.multiface landmarks, okay, and zero. Yeah, this zero means the first detected face, cause now we limit the number of the face detected as one, at here, right? Okay, then we give the corresponding indices of the vertex here. Here we go. Awesome. Now, so far so good. Next, let's make edit mode. When we are drawing, we want to see the points on our face to draw the vertex. But after draw the shape, we don't need that anymore. We want to hide the point, right? 
So first I make a boolean state and draw the face mesh only when the edit mode is true. So the plotting the vertices too. Then let's make it toggle the boolean by hitting E on the keyboard. Okay, now we can toggle the edit mode when we press E on the keyboard. And when it's not the edit mode, uh, we can plot the vertex. Perfection. Alright, thank you guys and girls for watching. Uh, in the next video, we will make it capable of drawing multiple shapes. Also add undo or delete, yeah, that sort of function. It's gonna be very fun, so stay tuned.